Hey, this is Mike Sanders from Sewing Products Equipment Company, and today we're going to talk about automated needle detection systems. There's two main reasons that you want to have something like this in your facility, especially when you're making any type of uh, loose, you know, soft good type of manufacturing. One, flat out, if you want to do any work for any of the big companies out there, the Adidas, the Nikes of the world, stuff like that, they pretty much require that you have a needle detection system like this in your facility detecting all the garments as they pass through. So if you want to get those big contracts, this is a must. Next is just flat out because you need to have some sort of way to protect yourself and your customers. The last thing you want is for somebody putting a shirt on and getting scraped, cut, or maimed or whatever from a needle shard or a piece of blade and, and this is what I'm talking about whenever it comes to this type of manufacturing you're constantly doing cutting and sewing obviously when it comes to sewing if the machines called a needle detector needles break all the time in sewing machines they're not always seen by the operator when it happens but it does happen all the time and it could be a shard even as small as this tiny little one millimeter ferrous ball right here that we're looking at and the machine will still pick it up um, but another thing that we're talking about is blades obviously you have to cut the goods before they go into the the sewing area so uh, I mean this is kind of a drastic measure but this was originally an 8 inch blade so like half of it's missing but tiny little shards of this can also come off as well especially because you're using coarse sharpening bands to get it off you're gonna have debris from that same thing when it comes to round blade style cutting you always sharpen these with stones again it's it's gonna create debris it's gonna create problems so you're gonna at some point have metal contaminating your garments and this is the best way to deal with it. So today what we're talking about here is automated needle detection. Now it's come a long long way over the years from when you used to have to wand every piece individually to check it. That's no longer the case. This is a fully automated conveyor belt style needle detection system and as you can see you basically just press a button and it starts running it's very very fast and I'll show you an example of how the garments actually move through. This is a piece of cloth with nothing in it, no metal at all. We've already scanned it beforehand. It's going to go straight through, fall off on the other end. This right here is the same thing but I'm going to put a uh, same thing we were just talking about, a one millimeter ferrous ball right in here and you can see that's very very small. It's basically what the tip of a needle would be. Extremely small. So it's gonna go through, and the machine's gonna kick it back, okay? Now the most important thing that happened there is the machine did not allow it to enter the other side. It kicked it right back to me. Why that's important is, when most people set these machines up, they want it to basically be a secluded area, a wall. You want this to be separated from this side. This is your finished goods, your shipping in. This is still considered manufacturing. So what a lot of people do, they'll put a wall or a fence or something up here to separate the two. And what the machine does is it ensures that this metal, this contaminant, will never get to that end and be shipped out to a customer. Another great feature about this machine is it can differentiate between different types of metals. So the stuff that I've been showing you here, these little balls are ferrous metal, which is mostly what you're going to find in your blades and needles and stuff like that. What it will not detect though is non-ferrous metal, which are snips and buttons and zippers and stuff like that that you would use to make jeans or shirts or whatever, typically, almost always those garments are made with non-ferrous metal which the machine will technically detect it'll technically see that it's there and it'll show up in a data report but it will not actually kick it back it'll let it go through which brings me to another great feature of this machine is just like every other form of automation out there nowadays it actually collects data so you can take the data the memory from this machine give it to upper management and they'll be able to take a look at it and analyze it and see how many positive kickbacks you're getting in a day or an eight-hour shift uh, so the great thing about that is not only do they know what's going on but it allows you to track up river to see what's happening so if you have a sewing machine that is just breaking needles constantly or a cutter that is just you know, peeling through blades and, and, and really putting metal shards everywhere, you're going to be able to know what's happening upstream. So it allows you to prevent other issues before they really, really become a major problem. So this particular machine here is the York balanced head needle detection system. We also sell the electromagnetic head styles. Uh, pretty much anything and everything out there with needle detection, we consider ourselves 
the pros in the industry when it comes to this stuff. We have a lot of experience with it, especially myself. Um, so if you ever have any questions about anything like this or you're looking to put something like this in your facility, give us a call over here at Sewn Products. We're in Jefferson, Georgia. Phone number is 706-367-2755. Or you can get hit us up on our website. It's www.sewnproducts.com. Or shoot us an email, which is just sewnproducts at sewnproducts.com. Thanks a lot.